So my OTS was still doing current slash old format. However, I decided to take my new format decklist into that format. People, 100 percent real with you guys. It didn't do too well for us. And make matters even more rough, top players there were also playing the new format because obviously you want to train. For, you always you don't want to play old format. You always want to train new format before it even comes out so that you can be prepared when the new already be prepared when the new format hits however we did learn some very key important things against some particular decks that we can have a really end up having a really bad time against in today's video we're going to go over my deck profile my matches as well as some afterthoughts and what we can change and what we can adjust and what to look out for michael bowden back here again and i am your host destiny hero mike and welcome back to D time we're here baby there's always D time and in more ways than one. Before we hop into today's meet, I've got a question for you guys. How do you guys feel about a D time Twitch, a D time gaming Twitch, as well as a D time gaming YouTube channel? Because there's two things that are going on here. One, I really, really want to uh, have a dedicated focus on Master Duel. That's the reason a lot of people ask me. You know, they tell me that I should do more mass duel, but the thing is, I'm a very focus oriented kind of guy. I like to hear this channel is most more more so focused on the TCG. Is I don't want to do two things in one channel, so I'm thinking that I want to do a gaming Twitch where I can have all my vods, as well as a gaming YouTube channel where you know we do mass duel. But not to get off subject, but Street Fighter VI just came out, and I want to be able to have the flexibility to also be able to play Street Fighter 6 and other games on my D-Time Gaming Twitch slash YouTube channel. Obviously, you guys see I'm a big FGC fan. You guys, you always hear fighting game music in the background. So let me know if you guys, you know, if you guys want to see that. If you guys, I, I just want to be able to connect with you guys on an organized, and you know, in, in an organized uh, sense, if that makes any sense. So let me know. I'm really considering a you a d time twitch as well as a d time gaming channel and we can marry the two together and do whatever it is we want that's off topic outside of Yu Gi Oh. and with that aside let's hop into the deck profile before we hop into today's deck profile go to dtimeexclusives.com these deck boxes are flying off the shelves i haven't even gotten my physical copy yet to showcase to everybody and we're already halfway sold out in a matter of days for the size of this channel i consider us a small channel but it's going ham for the size of the, the size i'm not i'm not x samurai you know I, i'm not even a fraction of that but this stuff is flying off the shelves like hot cakes I, like i took a chance and it's just going crazy so i really appreciate you guys i'm really stoked i'm really beside myself over this so there's more to come there are more d time projects to come if you guys are wondering after we get this stuff out to everybody so i'm very 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 excited about that and also as always to the real ones the d time channel membership uh supporters you guys are absolutely great if you guys want to know what those perks are about go ahead and hit the join button beneath this video or any other video for that matter and see what those perks are about and without further ado let's go ahead and hop right into the deck profile and it's going to be a little bit brief because this is a previous deck profile but i'm going to go into deeper depth and there are some things some changes that i want to talk about so, and yes, and before the deck profile, really briefly too, so now we're getting into the matches. So the matchups were Sprite, were, it was Runic Sprite, we managed to beat Runic Sprite, no problem. Um, they ended on a, uh, the, the Griffith, the, the Link Griffith inboard, so that was interesting, but that no issues there. Sky Striker, we beat that, no issues there. Uh, you know, we didn't even, I don't think we had, did we deforce? I think we deforced them and that was it, so I made the right call there. We lost against Labyrinth. Because we made a grave mistake we messed up i messed up so I, I can't wait to show you guys the mistakes uh the mistake that i made in this matchup and some things that i wish that this deck that i i, I want to change going forward because I, I keep running into a problem uh for my set play with this current build so that's why even though it's the same deck list it's important to show it off again so i can show in retrospect some things i want to change going forward because this deck list is not going to be the same going forward so yeah and then uh, the final matchup was Kashira. We lost to that. Shifter, very cheap card. I'm not going to go too much complaining into that uh, Dimension Shifter or into that matchup. 
but there's another thing that we could have and should have done that we uh, we're, we're, we're ill prepared for that matchup in my opinion so we went x2 and then from there we dropped it was five rounds and these are again these are all top players these are these are these were all strong players that we've gone against it was stacked there was nobody there but the best players there so it was stacked so i don't feel bad for going x2 it was stacked there's some of our best players here at the shop and you know but that's what the point of this is you know is so that we learn and you know that because we show off our losses man all day every day you know we want to show off where we mess up and you know how we can improve from there so finally hopping right into the deck list triple stratos and we're going to be kind of brief here so triple stratos shadow miss liquid soldier honest neos so there goes my e hero lineup and there are some things i'm going to be changing i don't think i'm going to be playing honest i don't think I'm, the only reason why i put honest neos in in the first place was to get over the spell canceller in the previous format now spell canceller is pretty much out of the format uh thanks to the super heavy samurai um being hurt really bad so then we're moving on into Fer triple ferris double vion and the double increase so that's fine there i have no issues with that let me go ahead and move that lighting so there's a slightly less glare so there's that and then we've got to the d heroes triple militia uh, double i wish i i come on man let's put malicious to three <laughs> double malicious denier plasma dark angel now look i know there are some people you know i got i've got you know some other fellow hero players that are commending me for playing the standard amount of destiny heroes but i'm going to be honest i don't like it yeah i don't like it the problem i've had with this deck uh the reason why i, I believe i lost to labyrinth one of the main reason why is i got o2 okay the main reason why i lost to this matchup i couldn't bring out a dpe i could not draw into a destiny hero I couldn't get a Destiny Hero, and I couldn't get a DPE. If you're going first and you got a DPE against Labyrinth, that's pretty good. You know, you're popping off the back row in the end phase. It's very important, and you're going to be able to chain to their floodgates too. Very important to have a DPE. I didn't get a Fusion Destiny or a Destiny Hero to help me fuse into a DPE. And I got Eradicator too. While they were going second, I got hit with the Eradicator. I had a D-Force lock on them. But it, 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 they were able to stall out long enough to where they could eradicate or epidemic virus me. And I didn't have a DPE to help back me up. So I'm probably going to some sort of Destiny Hero build after this. Sorry, I don't know how you guys do it. It doesn't work very well for me. I hate it. I hate when it's just a pure E-Hero line. This is why we need the, uh, um, the, the, the Flame Wingman really badly. Because if we don't get a Destiny Hero, we pretty much lose. It's, it's as simple as that. So that's my problem. I wasn't able to fuse into DPE in that game whatsoever. So that's what actually really upset me, to be honest. Then we got Triple Ash Blossom. So, and that's our hand traps there. So, boom. And then onto the spells. Triple A Hero Lives. Then Triple Fusion Destiny. Need those. That is the trio right there. And then we've got Triple D Force. So again, because we've already gone over this deck profile in the past, uh, recent in the recent past, we're kind of just going through it. And one thing I do want to break down: someone in my comment section said, because uh, I do read the comments, said that uh, they don't they they don't know why I play Hero Lives. Well, if you're new, you know, and you have no idea how, because you would think that you know you pay half your life points. It's a bad card to summon one card, but you need this. This is your starter. You need this. You think of Sprite Starter, think of Hero Lives. Think of Hero Lives Starter. You really need this. Sprite Starter, they're going to have to pay some life points, but so, we, so do we. The game is so fast, it doesn't matter if we're at 8,000 or 4,000. Usually, most inboards are going to be able to, to put out over 8K. In standard modern, modern Yu-Gi-Oh!, every inboard is usually able to put out uh, 8K standard. That's standard. So does it matter if you're at 4,000 or not? Now, if you're in time, that's a different matter. That's a different discussion, but you really need this card to get into your straddles and get going. It's a very good Ash Blossom bait as well. It's mandatory. Uh, so that's the best I can explain it. Consi top consistency. Best I can explain it. So very essential. Never cut that. Never not put it in. Always play Hero Lives. Okay. Triple mass change. So boom. And then we're, we're kind of getting into our tech territory. 
So we'll kind of get into our one ups called by Rota, Miracle Fusion, Palmerization. So these are all mandatory. You absolutely have to play them. No if, ands, or but. And then my tech, Triple Book of Moon. Didn't draw this against the time I got Shifter Lock back to back. So there was a bit of bad luck there on my end uh, against the Shifter. Uh, against the Kashtira match, um, it's not Kashtira. I fear, guys. It's the it's it's the Dimension Shifter. So um, maybe maybe next time, maybe we'll get lucky next time around, and they outright ban that card or something. Um, the card is a total game stealer. But we, what I mean by, and I want to explain really briefly, Book of Moon. The importance of Book of Moon in Hero Deck is if you get Dimension Shifter by Kashtira, and you have a Book of Moon, you can simply just okay, I'll stop my combo. I'll set my Book of Moon and end my turn. And then now on their turn, say when they summon, let's pretend this is a Unicorn. They summon Unicorn and then we go ahead and chain Book of Moon, target the Unicorn, set it face down. And now they pretty much have to end their turn. They have a monster on the field, so it's hard for them to continue going. They can't use their Potheosis or summon another uh, Kashtira on their side of the field. And uh, they it, it's just a really rough situation and they have to pretty much end their turn and by then the dimension shifter wears off So this is why we absolutely want a main deck. That's one of the main reasons why other than uh, Book of mooning the arise heart the arise heart exceed you want to be able to if you're going first be able to set it in the event that they shift to you or not Even if they don't have a shifter uh, You set it and it pretty much is a FTK almost 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 it depends on how crazy their hand is so I don't want to make a, a, a claim as bold as that, but it's very, very powerful. And on to the extra deck. The E-Heroes, Absolute Zero, Escarito. We're still doing two, two Sunrise because I respect Unicorn. So there's that. Wake up your element to Hero. So there's that. Okay. Um, and then uh, It's Me, It's Me, 2 DPE, and Dystopia. I, I got to play Dominance, man. I miss Dominance. I'm able to sometimes I'm able to hard fuse into DPE, then I still have a fusion destiny. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I guess I can bring out Dystopia, which I've been I have been doing, but yeah, um, I really miss dominance. I'm going to be honest about that. We have Dark Law, Acid, Blast. So boom, need those. Then Cross Crusader, two of those, one a Driver, Dread Decimator. So there is also that. Very important. Again, I was kind of briefing over that because we've had we've gone over this exact same list in the past, but now that we've put it into practice, we can really go over it, you know. So now into the side deck. Ghost Bell. I made a big, big, big mistake against Labyrinth. I didn't I didn't know where to Labyrinth. I didn't know where to Ghost Bell the Labyrinth. I'm such I feel like an idiot. This is a learning moment for me. I knew it was good against Labyrinth, but I didn't know where. It's the big welcome. So you want, I'm going to show you the visuals, okay? And I didn't cite this in, okay? And that's where I really messed up, man. So, that's the visual. Triple Ash Blossom, triple Ghost Bell. This is going to hit the big welcome. Ghost Bell hits both welcomes. Hits Welcome Labyrinth and Big Welcome. Ghost Bell hits Big Welcome only. So keep that in mind, guys. I just learned that. I feel like a noob. So learning something new every day. So... Um, yeah, so yeah, so just very important card. I didn't decide that in and it, it would have changed everything. So the game was definitely stolen from me because I, well, I, I don't know. I'm very, I'm very like, highly, I'm very hard on myself when it comes to uh, competition. So there's that. Joel Lockbird never came up. So yeah, against all those four top decks that you, you know, that, that you saw, saw me list off, never came up. So what does that tell you about Super Heavy Samurai? Get out of here. I don't care what anybody says. What does that tell you about Super Heavy Samurai? They don't exist. They're not real as far as I'm concerned. They have to mix and match into other decks. But in the event that they do, we're ready. We have the draw. So one thing I wish I could change. One mistake. I, one thing I was wrong on. I was wrong on Forbidden Droplet. This, this absolutely needs to be Book of Eclipse. Okay? So let me go ahead and pull that up. Boom. We need three. These should be replaced for Book of Eclipse. You want six chances to stop that Kashtira deck. You know, the same thing that I explained about Book of Moon. You want Book of Eclipse too. You want six chances. Just in case they have three shifters, the way I explained it to you, 
you have six books, okay, in the, in the event that they have a shifter, and you have six books regardless to end their turn. If you're going first, you don't want to have your first turn stolen from you. And again, if you're going second, they get their setup, Book of Eclipse. This is the only deck we want to target. Really, this is the deck that we only, uh, Cash there is the only deck that we want to severely target. The Forbidden Droplet did jack squat for me, and that's why they're still cheap. I was wrong on this. Do not cite this card in. This is not a good card, this format, still, for the new format. This is incorrect. I thought it was going to be. I was wrong. Book of Three Book of Eclipse instead. Three Book of Moon. Three Book of Eclipse. You guys, I'm still salty from yesterday. You guys can feel it. You guys can hear it in my voice. I'm still very salty. This needs to be Book of Eclipse for Ben Droplet. Not good, this format. So, um, I'm going to be real about that. Then, Cyclone, really good. Didn't come up, but still really good. So, and Rivalry is insane it, this card is really good uh, against uh, sky striker they try to before you before in their in their standby phase hit them with rivalry before they summon ray uh before make sure you do it before they summon ray because ray's going to change she can chain she's a warrior and everything else in that extra deck is a machine so it shuts them out of their extra deck completely unfair it's, it's just ridiculous not to mention the where is he at gotta find it uh not to mention the Dark Angel lock. We all know about that. So, yeah. Very, very, very important. And that is pretty much the changes I'm going to be making. I might change the entire build going forward. Uh, but that is some some of the things that I... That is the deck list. And let me know what you guys think. It was, it was pretty rough losing the way I did, man. You know? So, but that's the point of it is. You know, we live and we learn. So, we lose and we learn. I will definitely will not be playing Dropley. I tell you that we're gonna go ahead and swap that out for that Book of Eclipse because you know Kashdir is degenerate. That's gonna do it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think. I really appreciate you guys, and I'm really excited to start this Twitch channel and the uh, gaming channel. If you guys, if you guys are behind it, I'm only gonna do this if you guys are behind it. I mean, of course, we all gotta start somewhere, but you know, I, I, I definitely want to be able to do these things and just also be able to you know, connect with an audience while doing these things, you know, Mass Duel, as well as Street Fighter 6, uh, games like that, whatever game that we want to play, we do whatever it is that we want to do, it doesn't have to be just Yu-Gi-Oh! Strictly, so let me know what you guys think about that idea, I really appreciate you guys, and don't forget to go to dtimeexclusives.com, because that stuff is flying like hotcakes, I love you guys, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one.